Hi everyone. In this video we're going to learn about a British woman who fought with Japanese troops in Nagaland during World War II. She trained 150 Naga men to fight against Japanese troops. Her name is Ursula Graham Bauer. Do not skip the video, if you skip you will not understand the story so let's begin. Ursula Violet Graham Bauer was one of the pioneer anthropologists in the Naga Hills between 1937 and 1946 and a guerrilla fighter against the Japanese in Burma from 1942 to 1945. She was born on 15 May 1914, in England, United Kingdom and died on 12 November 1988. Ursula Graham Bauer a Roedine graduate, was invited to visit Nagaland in 1937 by a friend, Alexa MacDonald. While Bauer's mother had hoped that she might find a good husband on the trip, she was struck by the dignity of the Naga people, their tribal pride and unique culture. So she stayed on in Lysong village and started work on an anthropological study. In 1944, during the Second World War, Japanese armies invaded the jungles of Nagaland from Burma. Bauer, who had been trained to shoot as a child by her father, had no qualms about handling firearms, which made her a useful ally to the British. On their request, she marshaled and trained the Zim Nagas as scouts who searched the jungles for Japanese troops. Eventually, she managed a jungle training school for the Royal Air Force. A recipient of the Lawrence Memorial Medal, Bauer was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire in April 1945 for her actions in Burma. And she was the subject of an American comic book titled Jungle Queen. On 24 April 1945 Bauer was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire for her actions in Burma and in 1944 she received the Lawrence Memorial Medal, named for Lawrence of Arabia, for her anthropological work among the Nagas. Ursula Graham Bauer joined a troop of 150 Nagas in 1942, and became a scout and combat commander for the British, during the Japanese invasion of India. Catriona Child narrates what it was like for her mother to lead these exploits as a woman and as an outsider. The story began in the 1930s when the financial crisis in Britain at that time left Ursula's family with limited means. She was preparing to go to Oxford University but her family told her that there wasn't enough money to send both her and her brother to university. The British called her the Naga Queen and sent men to her to be trained in jungle warfare. The only woman to command active troops during the war, she was so effective the Japanese put a price on her head. British won the Battle of Kohima and for her grit, resourcefulness and courage V-Force was declared as Bauer Force by the commander of the 14th Army of the British, William Slim. Later both Bauer and her husband grew coffee in Kenya. But because of the danger of local unrest, they relocated to the Isle of Mull where they brought up their two daughters, Catriona and Alison Betts. Bauer never saw her beloved Naga Hills again. However, she championed the Naga cause until her death on November 12, 1988 and at her funeral, three Naga tribesmen in colorful traditional shawls helped carry her coffin. In 2013, 62-year-old Catriona Child traveled to Nagaland to retrace journey of her mother Ursula Graham Bauer. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I hope you learned something through this video. Please do not forget to share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.